Shalom, Yasharala, peace Israel. Kahalayim La, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashon, Yahweh Shah, Bahashon, Rakakwadash. All praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahashon, Yahweh Shah, Bahashon, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone, still well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Because that's what we do this for, man. All right, we don't do this for the average Israelite. We don't do this for all Israel. We do this for the hopeful elect, okay? We get worn out for the hopeful elect. Now the topic at hand is the body that is the body of Yahweh Shah is being crucified, or you could say mortified, and burn together. In so many words, the body of Yahweh Shah, which are you brothers, us brothers, the body of Yahweh Shah is catching hell together. Okay? Now let me get a scriptures to uh, support that. And you're going to see why I'm going into this, man. And Lord will, this can be a character building video as well as a motivation because Right now, we're at the door. So whatever we go through is gonna be even more intensified because this is it, man. And you gotta think about it. And when I say you, I mean we, all of us. We gotta think about it. This is the last time we ever gonna have to go through this shit, man. That's why it's so heavy. All right, that's why the hell is so, you know, um, adamant. I mean, let me just get a scripture, man. Okay, this is 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 5. And getting to the point. Verse 8. I tell you what, man. Let's start at verse 6 to balance it out. All right, we're going to read 6, 6 down to 9. Because all this is the point, okay? 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. So going into uh, humiliation. To be humiliated. To bring yourself down low. All right? Not being proud. Bring yourself down low. Abase yourself. Okay? Because we're nothing, man. All right? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let me read that again. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh. Who's the mighty hand of Yahweh? Yahweh Shai. So really, we're humbling ourselves. We're being humiliated for Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was humiliated for us. And it's rough, man. I mean, this ain't no cakewalk, all right? And every brother's situation is different but similar. But your hell is custom made for you. It's specifically patterned and designed for you to go through. Once again, you're going to see why we're getting into this, all right? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High. The mighty hand of the Most High is Yahweh Shai. That he may exalt you in due time. Right, because eventually Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to exalt us. And it's going to be the right way, man. It's going to be righteous. It's going to be great. He's going to make us great, man. In order to be great in this society, you got to sell out the save, man. Well, guess what? We sold out to the most high. All right. We're bought with a price. You know? Hey, because everything has a, a balance to it. So you got the wicked of our people. They sold out to Esau. All right, they sold out to the wicked elite of this world, you know, whether they put the dress on, they bent over, they did all type of satanic rituals, they didn't sacrifice family members and old friends, whatever the case may be, to get that bag, well, guess what? We sold out to Yahweh Shah. We're bought with the price. And it comes with regulations, man. We can't have whatever we want. We can't do whatever we want to do. And our lives are really on the line. But he's going to exalt us in due time, man. 
Okay? Read on. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Which means what? We put it in most high's hands, man. We understand in this world, in this human experience, because that's what we're getting into, this uh, human experience. And there's going to be a series of videos I'm going to do them back to back. All right? Because I got to make up for not putting up anything yesterday. That's my rule of thumb. If I don't put up a video, if you don't see a video in a day, I, I make it up by doing as much as I can the next day. All right? That's my thing that I got going on. But basically, ain't no free will, man. To put, put it bluntly, ain't no free will. So we understand things are beyond our power in this human experience, okay? It's things that are beyond our control. So you put it in the most high hand. You're like, Lord, you got it. I'm, I'm going to just sit back and let you do it. And we do our part. I mean, we're proactive. But certain things are beyond our control. Even dealing with the hell that we catch. A lot of times the hell you catch, you don't want to catch that type of hell. Or, you know, you may want to go through something else. But the Lord, like, la ah. <laughs> he tell your ass no. He tell us no. And whatever we need to go through, and, and what I say by, uh, by need, what I mean by need, see, it's not up to us. Whatever he has patterned for us to thoroughly purge us, it's not up for us to uh, to debate it or, or to uh, to be like, well, Lord, could you give me something else? And sometimes, you know, you'll pray for that. You know, personally, I pray for that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I pray, you know, if, if it's something I feel is too heavy for me, that the Lord will, will lighten the burden. And if not lighten the burden, then give me the strength to go through it. And I'm saying that because it's not easy, man. All right. The things we go through is not easy. But a lot of these things are similar. So you're coming to find out we battle the same things. It may be a little different because it's custom made. All right. But we battle the same demons. We, we go through the same stuff. Why? This is body, man. This is the Lord's body. And basically, we're feeling what the Lord felt. OK. But casting all your care upon him for he care for you. Basically, like it tells you in the Psalms. Be still and know that he's the most high. You know? And that's how we gonna be when Esau roll, man. When the Lord make Esau roll, we gotta be still and know that the most high in control, man. You know? But I'm gonna keep reading. Be sober. Now, this is the point right here. Be sober, which means to be clear-minded. Be vigilant, which means to be aware. So, so um, know what we're involved in, all right? Know what you're involved in. Because Satan want to take us out, man. You know? Basically, we're in a, um, a form of the book of Job. Every brother's life, every brother's uh, part, if you're a part of the elect, your, your lot in this truth is a form of what Job went through. You know? Now, ultimately, we're going through what our Lord Yahweh Shah went through, but we're going through, you know, like, like I said, parts of it. Now, I'm speaking about Job, I'm speaking about Yahweh Shah, and they're not the same person, but dealing with the, the uh, prophet Job or the man of Most High Job, you read that story, the Most High took everything away from Job. The Most High plagued Job, you know, took away his children, you know, afflicted him in itself. Even turn this woman against him. And all those different things happen to brothers in the truth. But what happened at the end of the book of Job? <coughs> you know, the Lord came and basically, you know, told Job to man up. And Job manned up and, and confessed that the Lord is in control. Like, Lord, you got it. You know what I'm saying? And, and Job, he pretty much humbled himself in the sight of the Most High. And, and the Most High gave everything back to Job and some. You know, he gave him double than what he already had at the beginning. You know, and going into uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, what the Son of the Heavenly Father went through for us, we're going through a portion of that. You know, basically, 
we're drinking that same cup, but we're not drinking the full thing like he did. We're drinking a little bit at a time. All right? But basically, while we're in this truth, this flesh is dying. All right? That's the uh, the goal, to kill this body. And, um, and that ain't easy. Now, I ain't saying we commit suicide or nothing. All right? Because that's wicked as hell, man. Which I'm going to do a lesson on that in a minute because I want to cover that. Something I want to speak on. Dealing with, uh, you know, suicide. You know, Jake having thoughts of that. And when I say Jake, I'm talking about certain Israelites, you know, in the world. You know, I, I want to harp on that point. And that's going to be another video. But basically, while we're in this truth, the reason why we go through the affliction that we go through is because this body of sin has to be destroyed, man. You know? And although we're not being crucified like our Lord was, we're being crucified by these afflictions we go through. Okay? In the spirit, we're being nailed to the cross. You know? By us being scoffed against, scorned against, you know? By you catching whatever type of hell you got to go through, you know? Whether you're deprived of, of uh, you know, money a lot of times, whether you don't have a woman, you know, you have that, that burning sensation in your flesh, whatever the case may be, or you got a woman and she giving you hell, once again, referring back to the book of Job, Job went through that. Whatever it is we got to go through, that's the Lord afflicting us so we can be a part of him. All right. If that makes sense, it should make sense. So we can be joined together with our Lord. We got to go through certain things that he went through. Even dealing with our Lord, he went without women. You know? Now he's the Messiah. The Heavenly Father made him perfect. But at the same time, you know he was catching hell dealing with that. Because part of our human makeup, part of our biological makeup as being human beings is to want to procreate. To get with a woman to have children. Or to get with many women to have children. You have a shot and have one woman. So you know he was burning, man. You know, scriptures say basically everything that he went through, we're going through and vice versa. Everything we're going through, he went through it. All right. That's in the book of Hebrews, man. He also himself suffered being tempted. So he wanted women, but he went, he went without women. And he knew who he, who he was, man. The whole time when Yahweh Shah was on this planet Earth, excuse me, the whole time Yahweh Shah was on this planet Earth, from his youth on up to the age of 33, he knew he was the Messiah the whole time. So him being deprived of certain things, he knew he was worthy to have everything, man. But he still went without it, okay? But, you know, jumping back to the point, I just wanted to, you know, speak about the hell that we catch. You're going to see why I'm speaking on it, though. So back in verse 8, 1 Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant. Knowing what you're involved in, all right? Because Satan want to take us out. Satan wanted to take Job out. Satan wanted to take Yahweh Shah out. Satan wanted to take the apostle Peter out, all right? Satan wants to take us out. If, if Satan wants to take out these great men in the scriptures, who are we? You know what I'm saying? Be so, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, 